So as we all know, there are players in the MLB like Rick and Keel who started off being a pitcher and then switched to becoming a position player. But what if I told you there was a player who started as a position player and then became a pitcher? How's everybody doing today? It's Sports World back from the video. Today I'm going to talk about Anthony Ghost and how he has a chance at being in the major leagues as a pitcher when he used to be an outfielder. Let's not waste any time, let's get straight into it. Let's start off at the beginning of Ghost's baseball career. Anthony Ghost attended Bellflower High School and in his senior year he had a 443 batting average with a 618 on base percentage and had 31 stolen bases. But Ghost wasn't just a position player, he was also a pitcher and there was times that he threw a 97 mile an hour pitch. But Ghost didn't just play baseball, he also competed in track and field and he would end up receiving a scholarship from the University of Arizona to play baseball. Let's go to 2008, when the Philadelphia Phillies selected Anthony Ghost with the 51st overall. When Ghost played in the minors, he was insane. In 2009, he would make it to the minor league all-star team as that season he stole 76 bases. Ghost was never really the type of player who had power in the bat. There was only one season where he sort of did in the minors, which was in 2011 when he hit 16 home runs. But besides that, Ghost was really just the type of player who would have an average around 250 and would have 5-10 to 10 home runs a season, and would steal a lot of bases and would hit a good amount of doubles and some triples, as in 2010 he had 20 doubles and 3 triples. Then after, on July 29, 2010, was where Ghost would move on from Philly. A big trade happened that day. To sum it up with one short sentence, I'll just say that the Clearwater Threshers traded Anthony Ghost to the Lancaster Jetthawks, which was the minor league team of the Colorado Rockies. The Blue Jays had serious interest in Ghost, as they have attempted to trade for him before with Roy Holiday, but then he would get traded again, this time to the Toronto Blue Jays for Brett Wallace. 2011 was really the year where Anthony Ghost was being watched and recognized, as MLB.com ranked him as the 5th best prospect on the, on the Toronto Blue Jays. Like I said earlier in the video, Ghost hit 16 home runs in 2011 and stole 76 bases. Both home runs and stole bases was a career high for him in the minors. In 2012, Ghost would end up showing not that much power but bring the average up. He had a 286 batting average with 5 home runs to 43 RBIs and 21 doubles with 10 triples and 34 stolen bases. Ghost looked like he had a lot of potential. So, on July 17, 2012, the Toronto Blue Jays would give him a shot. Ghost would replace Jose Bautista, Bautista due to Bautista having a left wrist inflammation. When Ghost played in the, with the Blue Jays in 2012, he didn't really prove much in 56 games. The average was down and he didn't hit that many home runs. Three things he kind of proved was 15 stolen bases, 7 doubles, and 3 triples. Overall, not the best start to your career if you're asking me. In 2013, Ghost started off in the minors with the Buffalo Bisons. But on May 20th, 2013, Ghost would return to the major leagues. 2013 was another not so good year for Ghost. He played 52 games in 2013 for the Blue Jays and still didn't prove much. His average climbed to 259, hit three more triples than he did last year, but besides that, Ghost really didn't show any talent that he did in the minor leagues. We now move on to 2014. That would be the last year Ghost would play in Toronto. Ghost did play 94 games with the Blue Jays, but it was the type of year where he would get called up and called down a lot. But the big question I'm sure you're probably asking, did Anthony Ghost prove anything in 2014? Did he show the Blue Jays that he would have a spot on their squad for many years to come? No. This was probably one of the worst year, years of Ghost's career with the Blue Jays. A 226 batting average with eight doubles and a triple with two home runs and 13 RBIs. And that would be the last year Anthony Ghost would play in Toronto. Because on November 12th, 2014, the Toronto Blue Jays decided to trade Anthony Ghost to the Detroit Tigers for Devin Travis. In 2015, the Tigers made an interesting move. The move would be that Anthony Ghost would be the starting center fielder for this season. If you're asking me, I liked what the Tigers were doing. The Blue Jays never really let, they never really let Ghost play that much. He never played 100 games in a season with them, but the Tigers, they gave Ghost the best chance to shine. Ghost would end up playing 140 games in 2015, and he actually started proving something. 
He had a 254 batting average with 5 home runs and 26 RBIs, stealing 23 bases and had 24 doubles. Ghost did prove a lot with the Tigers, but unfortunately, that would pretty much be all he could prove with the Tigers. To be more specific, in 2016, Ghost only played 30 games with them, and it was one of those seasons where he just didn't really prove much as he had a 209 batting average. We now move on to November 30th, 2017, when Anthony Ghost would sign a minor league deal with the Texas Rangers. And 2017 would actually be a big year for Ghost because this would be his first year deciding to, you know what, I'm just going to be a pitcher now. So this was his first year of being a pitcher. But just two weeks later, after signing a minor league deal with the Rangers, the Houston Astros would select Ghost in the Rule 5 draft. But he would get waived on March 5th, 2018. In 2017 and 18, as a pitcher, Ghost never proved, never looked promising in the minors. But in 2018, Ghost signed a minor league contract with the Indians, and 2019 was the year where he proved something. He had a 2.48 ERA in 32 appearances. Then in 2020, during spring training, before the season was postponed, and we had all this drama that happened, Ghost would come into the game and he threw a pitch at 99 miles per hour. Anthony Ghost does look good as a pitcher. All we need to see is the Indians giving him a chance in the MLB. I want you guys to let me know down in the comments, do you think Anthony Ghost will ever be that good of a pitcher in the MLB? Do you think he could come back as a pitcher and prove something? Let me know down in the comments. That is gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time. I'm out.